what's up guys today is friday finally f***ing friday today is snap on friday there's hamilton it's been a hell of a hot long week this week so you guys come on air conditioner has ever felt that good it's been hot this week <laughs> bad hot this week it's so hot out there my sweat sweating <laughs> close this door that's where the uh i got two guys well the one that's bought this box right here talking about hot i've been supposed to deliver this last three weeks he ain't been at work he's been sick because of the heat he said he has never got sick with the heat before but some right right now he's been sick with the heat so he's been off work the fella got the, the oil uh, tank back here. He's been off work. He had a damn heat stroke two weeks ago. Uh, it, I don't doubt it, but it don't take long. Man, it's been hot. If you can't sweat out there today, your sweat glands is clogged. <laughs> you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> I'm fat. I'll be sweating with the air conditioner on. Whew, that feels good. <laughs> So I told my wife, I'm gonna have to buy a damn push mower so I can detox myself every Saturday morning, you know? <laughs> That's what my neighbor does. Of course, he got a little bit of yard, but he be sending me a message every time. He's like, I got my weekly detox in. <laughs> he's an older fella, but he's, he's pretty funny. They be push mowing his yard. Man, it's so hot in here. Yesterday, I was over there trying to work on something and I was kind of bent over and the sweat was running down and it was dripping off my nose. <laughs> Like if most toilets run like that, people would have done replaced a little flapper in them. I'm telling you, it was. What well, pisses me off more than anything with a sweat like that and you bend down and you get over your glasses. Then you got to clean your, your hands are dirty, you got to clean your glasses off. That makes me matter than anything. Oh, it's hot, man. People don't understand that ain't never lived in the humidity. I don't think it's really the heat. It's the humidity that will get you bad. That's what that uh, Morgan Van Lines is a boy down there. He's from Maine, him and his girlfriend down here. Uh, I'm not sure when they're going back up to Maine whenever she gets out of school. But he's like, man, he's like, I hate it down here. I'm ready to go back to Maine. I was like, why? He's like, man, there ain't nothing to do. He said, it's hot. He said, still ain't nothing to do. He said, it's still hot. He said, well, that man, there's all kind of stuff to do. That's what he liked. He said, I love camping and fishing. He lives in Iuk. I said, you got a huge lake up there. So there's yep. plenty of campgrounds. It's huge. Yeah, he's like, Shit, it's too damn hot to camp. He said, we went, they went tent camping, AC and all that stuff. He's about passed out. He said, too hot, can't kayak because it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Andrew, you know, he's stationed in Vegas. Yeah. It's like 117 out there. I'm like, yeah. man, you gotta be cooking. He's like, nah, it's great. He goes, it ain't like at home and it don't feel like you're sucking in, you know, breathing in a plastic bag. He yeah. goes, it's not, he said, it's probably like it's about 80 at home. I'm like, holy crap. When we went out there, that's what everybody was talking about how hot it was and stuff. And I mean, it was hot. Don't, I ain't gonna take that away from it at all. It was hot, you're out in the desert. But like that one time I looked down, it's nine in the morning, it says 105 degrees outside. I was like, there ain't no way it's 105 degrees outside. And uh, yeah, they give like, you see them signs, like the concrete temperature is this, the air temperature is yeah. this. Hey, humidity is like at three percent. Like that's the difference right there. Yep. They don't have no humidity. That's true. You no, know, we uh, last week had Noah's Ark floating around out here with all the rain. <laughs> yeah. I know uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday was brutal. Yep. Bad. And we couldn't get a bunch for this hurricaneator yeah. coming in. Tropical storm, Claudia or whatever her yeah, name I'm, is. Oh. You were talking about that while well, I was like, I didn't. I knew it was supposed to rain every day next week, but I didn't know why. <laughs> but that'd be why though. Yeah. Well, my brother is wanting you to order, you remember that um, filter kit you ordered for me, the the oil filter wrench kit, the blue point one, it's got the four. The four? And one. Yep. Yeah, he's wanting one of those sets. So. I, I get him one of them. He's actually trying to tool nap mine, and uh, 
He's like, let me get this and you can just get another one. Your guy gets there Friday. I'm like, shit, he might not have one. He ain't taking that one. He got to tell me he got to wait. Like, that thing's valuable, man. It's a pain I'll use it but one time anyway. He won't need it for like another three months. Yeah. He's good now. We'll just come up here and borrow yours one time and then. See, I don't loan tools. <laughs> I don't got one. I don't got broke from that. You know, never. They don't come back home. Yep. And I tell you something else. I need if you got one. Is um, you don't. Which one you look for? Those little bitty wire blue point wire cutters. It's so good. You know the little bitty. Uh, oh, the PWC wire. 19. The little bitty ones. Yeah. Yeah. The the blades like a quarter inch. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yep. No, I didn't get one of them. I need another one of them too. Yeah, them oh, are real. And while you order, and I need you to order me one of them brushless ratchets. Long neck. If they got the long neck, I don't think they got them out they yet. They got the long neck. You just want the regular one? No. Yeah. I got some of them. It's supposed to be coming in with a toolbox. I've got a new toolbox coming in here. Must have been this week, but I think it'll be two more weeks. What the email said. Dragon butt, ain't there? Got a 68 inch epic coming in. What color is it? Black with cranberry red drawers. Cool. That's a good looking box. By the picture's good looking. Cool, cool, cool. That's the only thing cool today is the the look of that box. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you set it outside, you can cook an egg on the top of it in about 20 minutes. Right. It's hot, hot, hot. Yeah, that's what, uh, we was riding around in the Jeep the other day talking about being hot. And of course, my Jeep, and I'm sure yours, same way, and all my father-in-law's is, the AC on the things is cold, cold. Mm -hmm. We got the top and all that off, I still ride around with the AC, I don't get that yeah. cold air blowing on. Heck yeah. Cause when you stop, it can show enough because it's hot then. You know, that's what, like when I used to ride motorcycles all the time, I had my Harley. And it was nice when you was riding down the highway. Just stop at a red light in town, man. It was like you'd cook. Yeah. It was ridiculous. And then uh, one of our buddies, he rode Harleys with us all the time. He'd wire, like he sold real estate. So like, you know, he had to dress all fancy all the time. Yeah. Well, then he started wearing like his flip flops and his khaki <laughs> shorts. And we'd go riding Harleys. Of course, all us wear regular clothes, you know, jeans, boots, stuff. And was all making fun of him till we went to Memphis one time and sitting in that traffic. Oh yeah. I was wishing I had me some khaki shorts and flip flops on. <laughs> Pulling my pocket knife out and making me some uh, jorts out of them. <laughs> That's it. Somebody was asking about the part number on the vice because I showed mine in the shop. But of course the reason why I bought mine is mine's exactly like yours. Yeah. Let me, uh, and, we uh, actually don't, uh, where is it? I do that email. I was thinking snap on quit doing those. Yeah, with them, but but that's probably the best, the most perfect vice. Like I called Hamilton, I said I want a vice exactly like the one you got on my truck on your truck, and it showed up in like a week. So I don't it's know what the part number is. JPW two eight eight zero six. There you go. That's the part number. That's a five and a half inch. Uh, and the difference in this one, that one and this one, is that they will be gray. Because that's Wilton's color. Yeah. And where this one has, let's have a snap on on this side. No. Uh, it's just got it well, this has the snap on on this side. It had the Wilton stamp on that side. They snap on the Wilton back last year. Sometime or another had the contract run out or dispute or something. So instead of just rebranding them for us, now we're just buying theirs. And but you can still buy the replaceable jaws. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because all that comes through Wilton anyway. Yeah, cool. And uh, well, I know those are some fine, they hold, fine vices. They hold good. And they are tough. We beat the crap out of ours and everything else. And they uh, hang yeah, they, in there. Of course, I mean y'all see what Wilton got. Wilton makes the best vices in the world. Wilton makes these right here, or was making these right here for us. Uh, but. Yeah, these are good. They call these um, like mechanical vice. I'm not sure what the, besides having a cap on the end of it, what other differences in it, but they are a lot more expensive than some like regular, like a pipe vice or something yeah. they call some of them. I know they grip some stuff, man. They're, they're you good. get it in there, you tighten it down, that's holding. 
Well, you seen what I was building last week, and I had it in there, and I was yeah. beating on it with that 10 pound <laughs> sledgehammer. <laughs> like I had a piece of metal shoved in here, and uh, it was pretty thick. It was probably 3-8 three three steel, steel I think. and I was beating it with a 10 pound sledgehammer. Yeah. I walked <laughs> and Hamilton in. walked in, he's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> because I walked in the office like, dang, Clayton here, and they wham, wham. <laughs> Torch back there, welder back there. I was like, no. That's, That's how, for my double top secret that I'm going to share with everybody. Um, how to drink beer from the passenger side of a Jeep without opening the back hatch video. It's coming <laughs> one day. So. That's what I built. That's what I was working on that day. Yeah. That vice took some abuse that day. Yeah, a lot of abuse. <laughs> yeah, I got back there and like there, there's two or three different hammers, all different sizes. So, the I had a blueprint devices. lay in yeah. there. <laughs> to, all to save eighty dollars. <laughs> all to save eighty bucks. That's right. But like, that's what you want in a how-to video, right? Yeah. Like, it wouldn't be the same if I said just go buy this, 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 and this. Yeah. Or you can say, hey, get you a six-pack of beer, go out and you shop with a tape measure, and a sharpie, and some scrap metal. And I'm gonna show you how to build it for the cost of some spray paint and a six pack of beer. And the six yep. pack of beer is optional. Yeah. So. No, that's mandatory. That's it. Yeah, the spray paint's optional. <laughs> rust is a color. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, rust is a color for sure. For oh, sure. So you Mine, got the big gray box sold, huh? Yeah, this one's been sold for over a month now, but like I said, the guy's been off of work um, due to the heat. Now, I ain't sure what's going on with him. He's supposed to be there this coming Monday. He Damn, I hope he paid you in week. full, because if not, he might need to reconsider that payment. Well, he's done paid for half of it already. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, we run this card every week. But, yeah. Be good. Hope we get it out of here before my other one comes in. There you go. And both of them are too big to go on this side. Nobody you having won't. it delivered here? Yeah, it'd be coming here. Be all right. You can unload that one leave it here if you have to. I may have to if he ain't don't got it. Like that's the kind of relationship we got. Like, yeah, Hamilton needs to use something. He just, well, he got a key to the shop. We do a how-to video on how to unload two boxes off a pallet so everybody can see. <laughs> yeah, y'all can see how Clay cringes. Y'all can time. see how uh, <laughs> Hamilton quality. Let's see, how would you? I guess uh, durability test each yeah. box personally before. <laughs> we we test our stuff right here. That's it. And it gets tested. So. You got time for all that soft stuff. <laughs> what just happened? Clay's been working for this for a long time and just made his last payment on here. So. There's his new balance. Right Ooh, zero dollars. And I only had to pay him $26 this $26 week. $26 this week. That's the lowest I've paid you <laughs> in like four years. Yeah. Had payments have been 25 times that much some weeks. <laughs> yeah, some of them's been bad. <laughs> so uh, we're back to the ground zero now. We don't know Hamilton, so. All you haters that like to say, uh, Hamilton loans me tools and no telling how much I owe him. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're finna get back here and get to work and finish the day because I got a heck of a weekend planned and just how it goes. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Like always, thank y'all. Hit that thumbs up. Cool tools and discount codes is here. Merchandise over here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.